I'm Renee Noor, model, creative director, founder of Global Women Wealth Warriors, Wellness Hub, and GW3 Magazine. I dedicated my life and devoted my career into helping women and girls to achieving their goals. I've been passionate about empowering women and enriching men. This opportunity in working with the Global Women Wealth Warriors have afforded me the pleasure of traveling outside of the country to be a support unit, most importantly, to help impact and change lives. Our ultimate purpose is to help others to become whole from finance, spiritual, mental, as well as physical. We know there are challenges and obstacles to get you to the next level. However, it's time for you to level up, boss up, and welcome to Power to Soar. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh my goodness, family. Here we are. I am Renee Noor, the founder of the Global Women Wealth Warriors, as well as, you know, right now we're here with the GW3 Live, and I'm so grateful to be in your company today. Woo! Today is all about winning Wednesday. If you are winning, I need you to put some blue hearts in the chat. That's right, guys. It's all about winning Wednesday. And today is our day number three for us going live. And it feels incredible. Yes. Power to Soar Leadership Conference coming up August the 19th through the 21st, right in Atlanta, Georgia. You want to save the date. That's where not only we're going to recognize all of our amazing 100 most influential women, but we're also going to recognize our 100 most influential men. Oh my goodness, guys. This is the season. This is the winning season. And I am so grateful to be able to be here with you this morning. Yes, I am. And one of the greatest things about the GW3 Global Club we know how to win. If you're a part of the GW3 Global Club and you're a winner, let me hear you make some noise in the clubhouse. Woo! Yes, absolutely. All we do is win, 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 no matter what. No matter what, okay? And it's Winning Wednesday. And not only is it Winning Wednesday, what it makes is so incredible. Because we have been able to put forth the activities. We've been able to follow the blueprint that the multimillionaires do. We've been able to live the life that we're destined to live. We also want to make sure you're living that life with us. So if you haven't already tuned into us in the clubhouse on YouTube, or if you're right there with us on Facebook, guys, we want to make sure you keep up with us. We're going to be pouring in nothing but great content every day. Guys, if you were in that clubhouse and you heard that amazing voice by Malika Starr, please put some red hearts in the chat everywhere. Miss Malika Starr is on fire. Isn't she incredible, guys? Come on, I can't hear you. Everybody in the clubhouse, I cannot hear you. Woo, yes. We have incredible, incredible global warriors all over the world. I see those hearts coming. I see you, Renee. I see you, Miss Janet. I see you. Oh my goodness, Carlene Thompson, all the way there in Canada. We are all around the globe. And not only are we all around the globe, we're so excited to be able to come into your space today. That's right, here it is. One year for our Linnell Burns. Let's give it up for Linnell. Linnell has been on Clubhouse for one year. Give her some big hugs out there. Come on now. We love you, Linnell. We see you, beauty. And we know you have been able to impact the lives of so many just in one year. And we're so grateful that you are also a part of the Global Women Wealth Warriors as well as the GW3 Club. But one of the greatest things we pride ourselves on we know how to win together. So what I want to do, if it's okay with you, I need to bring up my other warriors that's also blazing the universe in their greatness. They're standing strong in their power. And in addition to that, guys, 
they know how to build communities because that's what it's all about, building communities. So without further ado, i like to bring up, my goodness, not only did I have an opportunity of meeting this amazing, blazing superstar, she stands at least 7'2", guys, 7'2", right there in Paris. She's not only is she's a phenomenal woman, she's also our French coach, our French teacher. But you know what? She knows about the power of relationships. She knows about the power of being relevant, consistent, and knowing how to show up. Without further ado, Miss Samira from Paris. Where are you, beauty? Woo! Bonsoir, bonsoir, bonsoir à toutes et à tous. Meaning, Bonjour, good night, Samira. yes. Bonjour. Bonsoir, because Bonsoir. I'm at my night That's already. Right, bonsoir. <laughs> we had a, we actually was able to have a piece with some of the ladies. Actually, Barbara, she encouraged. Um, that, that was sort of like one of the little items that she did. And my God, she was testing everybody with the French. It was so amazing. And what we'll do, we'll make sure you see that clip if you haven't seen that already. But you look incredible. That color, it just is so you. How are you doing today? I am phenomenal. And I think, my God, everything comes in its timing. You know how much I love connections. I love vibration. I love when you're aligned with the people you are attracting because you are that vibration all the time. I always say age is just a number, but your vibration determines who you are and what you're going to make uh, in the world as positive impact and everything. So today, um, Wednesday is the winning and it started the day really early morning with incredible um, news. Like I'm going to be with my business with you know, the, the brand that you see, this is Elo, she dares. So yes, I love absolutely. It. I love it. Like bringing to your body, whatever you need, you know, as being sexy, as being um, sensual, as being powerful, it's all in you. And then not only the Festival de Cannes, so that's a lot. I mean, yes. you know, magic happen when you're aligned with whom, with who you are and what you vibrate. and everything comes in line. So Wednesday is super, super winning. C'est vraiment très, 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 très puissant, which means very, very powerful. And this is Ooh. the most important thing. So I love to be with you, Renee, and look at this blue. And you know what blue means? Tell us blue what means, the blue means. The, the blue means not only it's, because it's not because it's my color it is what it is and that's why who i am who i am and you are who i am. this is what we call the uh uh what do you call it? the like the king's color it's byzantine from the byzantine and i'm sure we have someone as lolita who knows a lot of things it's like byzantine means it's royal so when that's you right. have that blue it's a royal and royals means a lot of things being where you need to be, having that attitude and having that vibration. So we are kind of aligned. And we did not, right? Did you know that I was wearing this? No, blue? no, no. Okay. No, not so at we all. need to tell not the truth all. because yes. this is, this is guys, honestly speaking, like we had, I mean, we, I didn't even know because I was in different shows today and so on and teacher to jump in. And of course, with my incredible warrior, we're warriors. When she said jump in, that's what we do. When you're power, you jump in at the right time and magic happen. And I look at her and we're wearing the same blues. So the same blue. <laughs> come on, come on. That's when you know, that's when you know that's magic happening, baby. Yes. You know, yes. that's when we are in control and that's one Absolutely. of the greatest things. But you said three things. You said royalty, regal, I know you said regal, and powerful. So without yes. further ado, we're going to bring up the mayor herself, who's our mayor with the GW3 family, Miss Lolita Anderson. Woo! Hello, hello, hello. Yes, How are you? Oh, we're doing incredible. Look at you, the mayor. I need to get your autograph, honey, OK? <laughs> oh, you know, I, have, I have my fan just in case it gets too hot in here. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, you know, I need it here too in I Paris. Know, right? That's what global. I know. Is. You know that's all so right. Right. That's <laughs> <laughs> you look incredible, beautiful. You look incredible. Thank you, thank you. Yes, yes. Well, here we are with these three bosses. That's right, three bosses. And guys, it's all about oh, winning. I, I, so, so I already know, Lolita, you've been winning because why? What's your tagline? We yeah. are champions winning on purpose, baby. That's right. Because that's champions right. win on purpose. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. And this is this is winning Wednesday. I'm telling you, you let me I, you let me know how you want me to roll with this, Renee, because you already know it's we've been winning since six o'clock this morning. So I'm excited. Oh my goodness. Well, I want to just make sure we say some love to those in the clubhouse that's watching us right now. I see you, Sear. I see you, Karen Gettys. Oh my goodness, guys. Karen Gettys is the official fashion designer for the Global Women Wealth Warriors right there in New York City. And man, she is rolling out some incredible pieces. And what I love about Karen so much, she's so humble. She is so great. She's already done four fashion shows with us. And my goodness, we were able to blaze those runways in New York City, even in Atlanta. Okay. Yes. So we're looking forward to yes. seeing her for our fifth annual Power to Soar Leadership Conference. I also see Miss Natasha Smith. Oh my goodness. I see you. I see you, D, with that fabulous red that you have on. Again, everyone make some noise. It's Linnell's first anniversary Ooh. on the club. We need to say it in French. <laughs> Félicitations. Say it in French. Oh my goodness. Say it in French. Fé, like Félice, like Félicité. You know, it all comes from Latin. So, Félicitations. Félicitations. Sion, Sion. Sion, Sion. And at the end, it's Sion. Félicitations. Okay. Yeah. Félicitations. Okay. That's going to be another class. <laughs> she's so great. If you have not had the opportunity of following Samira, she's probably one of the phenomenal women. Yeah, she is the most phenomenal woman with the GW3 Club. She's teaching us how to speak French. We already know we're dedicated within the next 90 days. We're going to not only learn this French, we're going to speak it fluently. If not, she's going to pull out her ruler and she's definitely going to whoop us. Okay, guys? <laughs> you see? Yes. By you the way, about that? It you know really what keeps us on top of ourselves, too. Absolutely. When you have a teacher, when you have an instructor, when you have a coach that really want to see you win, they know I'm, what time we wake up, guys. Come on, what time do we wake up? Five, Four thirty-five o'clock. <laughs> I know sometimes three a.m. We're not only passionate about making um, an impact in others' lives, but also it's about the community. If mm -hmm. you all love the GW3 Club community, please, I want you to put some hearts in the chat. I want you to go get on and make some noise in the clubhouse. Woo! Yes. Yeah. Absolutely, and absolutely. But, Guys, if you don't have a community, you need to come on over here. Why? Because we really do care about you winning. We don't show up for one. We show up for all. That's right. Mm -hmm. We show up for all. That's why it's not about how one person look or one person stand out. It's about how we come together and stand out consistently together. And that's something that's very important. Even though, don't get it wrong, Every woman have their own unique gifts. Every man have their own unique talents and they don't even feel indifferent about anything because they understand the power of the community. Everyone say the power of a community. The power of the community. Power of community. And you know and Renee, again, the power of a community. The power of the, the power of the community. And I'll tell you what Renee, I will add to that the inner power of each and one of us the inner power which is something we don't generally lean on it is really important because when you ask your own question to yourself who am i who do i want to be and what am i here for this is the best question you ask yourself because you don't need anyone to tell you who you need to be how you're going to do it but then when you are aligned 
with that beautiful you, then you can reach out to the incredible community that's going to come and lift you up as you deserve. So it is really about your inner power that's even more important that will bring the power of everyone. Look at us. We're here. Like with Lolita, I knew from her voice, from that vibration. But, but that's, can... that's why it's a global platform, Sarah. Yes, absolutely. And and she welcomes she welcomes the people and from her the way she speaks. I was li listening to her, and then I jump in one day, and I also in a room. She welcomes everyone. My God, this is where you want to be in a community when is open heart. Look at the hands. You know when you say this, even in communication, you're saying to the world, "I am that power inside, and I am bringing you with me." because we all deserve to be <laughs> up there. That's very important too. I love it. I absolutely love it. Well, you know what? The greatest things about our Winning Wednesdays, we always talk about strategies. We talk about those strategies to not only helping our community to keep on thriving, but we mm -hmm. want to see you flourish. That's right. Mm -hmm. This year, it's about flourishing, not only in your better version of yourself personally, but also in business. In business, mm -hmm. it's really, really important. We automatically understand the importance mm -hmm. of having a regimen. A regimen is really, really key to your success. I love how Glenn Lundy, you know, I'm gonna always reference Glenn Lundy, how you start your day really does matter. And that's why it's important to yeah. start early. You know, sometimes you'll see my messages coming at what time? 4 a.m. in the morning? Maybe even 3 a.m. in the morning. But one of the things hey, you guys, hey. I get my rest. What did you say, Lolita? I second. Yeah. <laughs> I get my rest as that well. Is, that I'm is drinking a lot stuff. of water. Everyone knows yeah. we're drinking, what, a gallon of water every day. So I definitely get my water. I t do my exercise. My regimens are so important. And I encourage you to have those. But we're going to talk about a more of a deeper dive today. We want not only to help you build out with different strategies, but we want to show you the importance. Not only do you have a community, which we have a community right here with the GW3 family, but we want you to know how to work your community. If you don't work the community, guess what? You're going to be going over here. You're going to be going over there. You're going to be going over there. Guys. Trust and believe, I've got the t-shirts, 500 t-shirts to prove it. It doesn't help you to become successful when you do that. Mm -hmm. When you are building, and I say this, when you're building for the right reasons and for the right intentions, guys, whether you are here, whether you're with another community, build within your community. You know why? It's important to elevate those within your community who not only love you, who will also trust you, have integrity, but that commitment. If you already have a community that have that, you know what you want to do? You want to keep on pouring right back into that community. And that's what I'm grateful about Global Women Well Forest. Collaborations. Collaborations are very important. And when you're able to understand there's no competition, it's about what it is that you're doing in your lane and you work your land work your land to the fullest. But one of the greatest things you can do, identify those who can also help you water your plants. Those who can help you feed your flowers when you're not at home, okay? Those who can help you be introduced to greater opportunities. When you're able to really pour back into your community, guess what? The community is gonna keep on feeding you, gonna keep on feeding you, keep on feeding you and keep on feeding you. So today, let's talk about how we're going to get full. Now, I know with you, amazing Dr. Lolita Anderson, not only is it important for you to represent community, and I know you're going to be doing something even powerful with us later on, but what does it mean for you to attract another stream of income? Because that's what we're going to be talking about, those 7 to 12 streams of income. If you're listening to my voice right now, and you only have two streams of income, please put a two, two, two in the chat because we need to know who we're talking to. If you're hearing my voice and you only have three streams of income, I want you to put a three, three, three in the chat. But if you are right now in a space that you have at least seven streams of income, I want you to put a 10, 10, 10 in the chat. 
because we need to talk to you. Not only do we want you to um, support our conversation, but we want to make sure we're engaging. I'm going to hand the microphone over to you, Lolita. Share with us why is it important for you to have these multiple streams of income? Well, Renee, thank you so much. And I appreciate everybody on this platform who's listening to us today. The first thing, uh, we already know that the, what the seven represent uh, completion. But with any business, you have to diversify like your accounts, your bank accounts. When they talk about diversified savings or diversified dividends and things like that, I have diversified portfolios even in my company. That means I can do more than one thing. What's Renee talking about? We're able to get more than one stream of income. If I just generated a, a uh, income from a specific area of housing or corporate relations, I would be limited. So to diversify your, yourself, look how different we may look at, at, uh, as far as each other, but look how much we're the same. We're much our own kind in this platform right now. And so that's where I can say is that I've diversified my income, my portfolio, which gives me an opportunity to go globally because we're able to, to diversify our reach. And that's, that's where I'm, I think it is. I love that. You know, great tips right there. And you know what you said, keeping those assets diversified. You know, when we're in this mm -hmm. season, because that's what the season is about right now, it's about how you are going to attract more opportunities. How are you going to attract the right relationships? And also, how are you going mm -hmm. to pay it forward? Pay it forward for the community. Now, Samira, you are all about community. One of the greatest things I truly love and adore about you, the respect you have for not only building community, but also relationships. Please mm -hmm. share with us, you know, that area because relationships, well, people don't really understand why is your relationship so important, especially in this season? Okay, this is really incredible because I'm making the transition and I love when the synergy between us without even rehearsing or doing anything. Actually, relationship, you know, they say your net work is your net worth. It's as simple as that. This means the more selective relationship. That's why remember we said vibration, align. So when you know what you want, even though if you're net yet there in terms of those relation or income as i said i don't know if you know but i never worked for anyone i always been my own boss because i thought if there is something i need to reach i can reach it myself but i need to go and check those relationships that will allow me be where i want to be look at us here today i mean if it was not for the relationship we would not be talking and the relationship today i'm in paris because i just listen to this decided six months no eight months ago i came here actually uh to uh celebrate with my business partner her seven figure income she bought a house in saint tropez so i said all right let's come of course and celebrate and we generally strategize at that time of the year september for the coming year. So I came there and then I went back to Paris from the South to Paris. I said, well, I like it here. I'm not moving. Can you imagine when I decide this? And then I said, all right, I haven't been in Paris for a long time, but because of my relationship, because of the people I've been connecting with today, I'm right now where I am in the best area of Paris. And I am helping this brand that is called Elos means she dares, but it's high level people. When I say high level people that understand that they need to be at their best. So with my connections, I allowed myself not only to be in the city of light, but having those relationships made me be where I wanted to be. And right today, and I was sharing with the girls that with Festival de Cannes, you know, Festival de Cannes is like really selective, you know? So when you have that person who knows the other person, actually before we started this stream, um, a model came in, you know, so I gave her what she needed. We kind of talked and maybe some of you know that I'm in health and wellness and I love health and I'm obsessed about health. 
but being at your best, that doesn't mean using so many things, but the right things. So it's all about relationship. So today I'm building my seven figure income through a platform online and through a relationship. Who do you know? It, always ask yourself, who do you know who would lead me to this and that? So like if I go to Atlanta today, I have Renee and I have the circle of influence of Renee. If Renee comes to Paris, she have me and my circle of influence. If I go and see Lolita, you see how powerful this is? Remember, you have your net work is your net worth and the niches are the riches. So depending where the niche are with the relationship, you have exactly what you need, income and relationship. So yes, if today you want to do something, you need to get relationship. And relationship, it's the word says it all, you need to build. And by building, meaning it's not just because I want something from the other person, but being aligned with a hard person because that vibration is the same. And do you know how many people are in the world? Billions. You just need one person sometimes to bring you to so many people. And this is how today the businesses are built with relationship, but mostly and above all with that network that make a net worth because you are looking for the right people. And in order to get the right people, you need to be connected with your inner self so that you attract those people. So let's, I'm gonna tell you something today. If you want anything, and I'm saying it out loud in front of everyone, any, you need a person, you need something anywhere in the world, just ask, I will give it to you. Why? I've been building for six decades those relationships because it started from I was in, in the belly of my mom, as they say. That's why I love and I speak six languages because I want to be related. And even if you don't speak the language, if you speak the language of the heart, then you're related. And you see with Global Warrior, it's global. She made a vision. And by the way, I want to highlight something. Uh, Renee knows that I love numbers and numerology because it's also related to human being and to relationship. And if we understand the numbers, like we understand them in business, in terms of relationship, we'll see. The GW3 stands for seven. And seven is spirituality, is vision, is embracing everything of that. She had that vision. And look at today. She's bringing those relationship global-wise together. So it's not only me or you. It's about the relationship we are making. And with the relationship, you can do any business you want because business is about bringing to the other what he's asking for. Absolutely nothing for you, Samira. Everyone, please, let's give some blue hearts in the chat for Samira. We need to blow up all social media outlets because my goodness, beautiful, you dropped out your knowledge there. But you know, it really helped us to focus on why our relationships so important. I am so grateful to have you in my life, Samira. You know, and one of the greatest things, sometimes what people have to understand, the nurturing of relationships, the value, the value of what it is that you're putting into the relationship as well. I say this, guys, when I first came to this whole Clubhouse app, sometimes you see people who just want to do what? Take, 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 take. And we know that's not what it's about. Most times I'll just in the audience and just listen and observe. And when it came time for me to bring some value, value, so So I want you guys to understand the importance of relationships is not just what you take, it's not what you get. When you go into rooms, don't just look to see what you need look for ways how you can add value 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 that's very important and and then renee yes also people you know in the app actually they can only hear you and listen to your vibration so it's how you make them feel i remember with lolita she made me 
feel in her room it's true i didn't even know who she was but she was such you know she was welcoming and say what you have and then it was a cocktail and saying and then i where i was connected with eva and said yes do a room in french and i will support you can you imagine it's how she made me feel actually it's not about the room it's not about i mean i'm not doing the french to earn anything i'm just doing it because i need to bring something to people i make them feel better than themselves and it's the relationship so it is important guys if you want something about this world be you and connect with that big you so people when they hear you they can feel oh my god that's why the heart that's 21 grams over here when it beats is like make me feel like this make people feel the way you want to feel you will see the magic will come to you and you will see sometimes like today and it's a winning wednesday i didn't even know i was going to talk but i started like midday and the life was done but because of the relationship i made one relationship and who brought me the other relationship that brought me the other relationship so just make people feel the way you want to feel you will see you're going to be at your greatness and this is what powerful women do connect oh, with their funny. heart and the rest trust me it's going to come absolutely well guys what we want to do we not only want to bring up our next special guest guys oh my goodness this conversation is getting so juicy as Lolita, as Lolita Walker would say, my God. And we haven't even skimmed the chicken off the planet. We still have more deeper depth to go. But before we do that, guys, what are the ways that you can focus on those streams of income? We're going to bring the man himself, who's also one of our global warriors, Mr. Michael Butler to the stage. But before we do that, guys, we want you to enjoy this video. sure you guys can hear me if you guys can hear me please hello if you guys can hear me i need you guys to go head on and flash your mics in the clubhouse if you all can hear me wonderful all right and then if you can hear us also make sure you put some hearts in the chat right there on youtube as well as make sure you guys put some hearts on chat on facebook Woohoo! okay i just wanted to make sure everybody could hear us over here where we're super excited, guys. Not only are we grateful to be bringing up one of our men warriors, that's right, one of our men warriors, he's had the opportunity of supporting us and being a part of our Power to Sword Leadership Conference that took place last year. And again, another amazing giant that's right from this app. He's changing the lives of so many. And one of the greatest ways that you guys could do this, how many of, how many of you guys out there are authors? If you are an author, please go ahead on and put some 10, 10, 10s in the chat if you're an author. And if you thought about becoming an author, 
I need you to put a 100 in the chat. That's right, a 100 in the chat. If you wanted to become an author, if you have a story that's deep down inside of you, even if you want to become an author for the second or the third or even the fourth book, I'm talking to you. Put a 100 in the chat. Let's blow this chat up, guys. Without further ado, I want to bring the man himself, Mr. Michael Butler. Woo! Michael! Great to see you. Great to see you, Renee. Can you hear me okay? I can hear you okay. Yes, I can. Now, Michael, I see you're out and about somewhere, right? I'm at a mastermind in Georgia, and uh, we're working with authors and speakers here. Big shout out to you and Power to Soar. What a great event last year. Always love being in your rooms. Always love being on your stages. You're always doing amazing things. I see there's a lot of women in here that have authored books. And I got to tell you, Renee, I couldn't help but think when you asked me to share a little bit. And, and I tell you, that last speaker you had was just dynamite. She really made me think about something because I was thinking about when I was a kid, when I was a young kid, so angry. And the reason I was so angry, uh, I grew up in a home where my dad had been in the military and it was a home where my brother and I weren't allowed to talk. We weren't allowed to talk at the dinner table. We weren't allowed to talk about our feelings. We weren't allowed to communicate what we were going through and how was our day. And I developed a stutter. I stuttered as a kid. And so when I would go to school and try to speak, I had so much low self-esteem, so much fear that I was afraid to talk and I couldn't get a sentence out and kids would make fun of me. But the person I remember most during that time was a woman that changed my life when I was 11 years old. Because I was this nerdy kid going to the library. It was a small town in Oklahoma. I grew up on the farm. And uh, it was the librarian, the local librarian. Because I would max out my, my uh, library card with 10 books. I would steal my brother's library card and max out his, his library card. So I had 20 books at a time going. And she knew that I was one of these kids that should be on Ritalin. But instead of recommending Ritalin, to my parents and the school, <clears throat> she recommended a book. And Renee, she found this book written by an 11 year old boy. And I happened to be at 11 at the time. And I can remember reading this book on my farm out in the pasture. I'm sitting there among my cows. And this book touched me so much and made me cry because it's written by this 11 year old boy. And it had a picture of a sailboat on the front of the book. And as I saw this, and I share this almost every time I get on stage all over the world, we have authors in 30 countries now. As we go through the process of ghostwriting and helping people write their books, I tell this story because everybody's got a story in them. But most people get stuck in the story and the pain of their story. They never get past their story to their message. And you can never truly create a movement until you tap into your message because most people, they're stuck in that story. And the story that I was telling myself as a result of my dad not letting us speak, as a result of kids laughing at me when I would try to speak, was that my story didn't matter, that my words did not matter. And so that was the belief that I assigned to that, that I was going through. But that book brought me out of my story and it transformed me as an 11 year old boy into my message and i began to see the movement as i laid there on the pasture on my back looking up into the sky and a plane would fly over the message the creator put in my heart was one day you're going to fly in planes all over the world and speak to people and you're going to inspire them and change lives and one year ago, I brought two of my female authors with me to visit our nonprofit in Pakistan. And they spoke to thousands of women on entrepreneurship, business, and female empowerment. And one of those girls came up crying and she said, I knew I was called to speak to women all over the world. She told this to our youngest girl, Haley, who was 29, and with tears in her eyes, 
because we could only meet there for 90 minutes and then we had to leave. The women had their head covered, but it was their meeting. They normally didn't get to have a meeting. It was normally the men that were up speaking and the women had a meeting where they could speak. And it was so empowering to see these two female authors on the stage inspiring women from all over the world that you can do and be anything if you can let God heal your story and get you to your message. So Renee, I love and honor everything you're doing with Clubhouse, everything you're doing with your global travels, with the G3, GW3 women, amazing, amazing stuff. I see what you're doing in Tanzania, Dubai, what you've got coming up in Atlanta, and you're truly creating a movement. I was traveling, the shirt's not quite blue, but the hearts I threw into the comments were blue. I believe in what you're doing and you are making a difference. Every movement starts with a pebble. Every ripple, every wave, every movement starts with one idea, one thought, one spoken word. And I'm telling you that your message, not just your story, don't get stuck in your story, move past the story because I don't remember the name of this kid. I don't remember the name of the book. All I remember was the picture on the front of the book was a sailboat and it unlocked my mind and my heart and my spirit to begin to soar and to begin to dream. And as a result of that one 11 year old boy's book, we published 650 titles, authors in 30 nations who are changing lives, getting on stages and making a difference all over the world. And you can too. And when I come back in a moment on the next question, even if you've already published a book, I'm going to show you how to monetize it and use it to grow your client base. So, Renee, thanks for the invite. Well, you know what, Michael? Thank you for your courageous. Thank you for being courageous. Thank you for having a brave heart, you know, at an 11 year old. In addition to that, thank you for sharing that message, because that really set in my soul. And I'm sure the others on this app, as well as on Clubhouse, we also were on YouTube as well as Facebook, they also were able to resonate with that because unfortunately, so many people get wrapped up in just, oh my God, I, I just got to do this, got to do it. It has to be perfect. It has to get, be perfect. But I love the fact that you focused on just get the story out, just share the story. And not only that, I love the fact that you are also a publishing company that you can also have ghostwriters to help you along the way. That is something that's so powerful as well. You know, I want to say this. Thank you again for being a part of what we did last year. And we're definitely looking forward to taking that to the whole next level as we soar even higher to the sky. Because I saw those beautiful clouds behind you. It's just such a beautiful scene that you have there. Since today is all about Winning Wednesday, and you've been winning right now with authors all over the world, let's talk about that deeper dive the importance of monetizing, because that's what it's all boils down to from an ebook as well as from even just becoming an author. Share with us some of those, I guess your secret sauce to that. You know, I want to help every woman on this call get their book out because- And got men, book don't just focus and on the women. All men, <laughs> young men too. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll occasionally let a guy come in and do a book, but I tell you, it, it's women buy and read 90% of the books in the world. And that's the thing. Um, and I want to say this, a lot of people thought the internet killed publishing, but you know what? Readership is up globally. So Renee, it's very important to realize as you're writing your book, men and women, to realize that 85% of college grads in the U.S. never buy or read another book. That's sad. And I know it doesn't represent your audience here. Your audience is the ones that are always learning. But as you're writing the book as an author, first time or 10th time author, Remember that 76% of books in English, those are bought and read outside the US. So if you're writing for your alma mater or your high school friends or your church friends or neighbors, you're probably writing for the wrong crowd. You need to write for South Africa, write for Europe, write for Asia. That's who's reading the books. And it's important to understand that in the beginning. And another very important tip, I love what you said, perfection is the enemy of great. You know what? So many people get stuck because they don't feel like their book is perfect. Even they can have it done. One of our ghost writers ghost wrote a book for an A-list actor. If I said his name, you would know him. I could just say some movies he was in. You would know him. He's Academy Award winning. 
But you know what? He's getting up in years and he really needs to release this book now because five years from now, people aren't going to remember his name, but he's so perfectionistic. He's stuck in his head. He's afraid a semicolon should be a comma or a comma should be a semicolon. Listen, get your story out, get it out and get moving. And the other thing is, Renee, don't edit your book if you're the writer, because you know what? It's like disciplining somebody else's children. You can never look at your children the same. Are you? Your neighbors will never look at you the same if you discipline their children. So stay in the creative part of your brain. Don't worry about the edits. Hire a professional editor. Your book will get so much more traction. And you know what? You'll make up for book sales on the back end. Stay in the creative part of your mind. And then I'm also going to show you how to monetize the back end and how to pre-sell copies and get media interviews before the book is even done. Had an author the other day, Renee. Uh, on the news in North Carolina, didn't even have his book done. Guess what? I said, go to Kinko's, print out the cover. I'll send it to you. Scotch tape it to another cover, hold it up, do your interview and send people to your website. He sold 39 books off his website. He'll have his book in a few weeks and then he gets more of an opportunity to make them coaching, consulting clients. Jen Duplessis, she's from Virginia. She was already a successful speaker getting 5,000 a speech and a mortgage lender. She had done a billion in mortgage loans, wanted us to do another self-help nonfiction. We suggested a fiction book. We ghost wrote that fiction book. It's being optioned for a movie. It's called Tell Me I Can't. Go look at the cover, it's beautiful. And it's a story of fiction, but you know what? It's helped build her masterminds and it helped build her high-end coaching program. She's been on Good Morning America and she's uh, she's been super busy since we've launched that book. So. Renee, I'm happy to give a free consult to any of your women on here. If you want to go to my calendar, it's meetmichaeld.com, meetmichaeld.com. I'll answer any book question you have about a book idea, and uh, I'll give you honest feedback and tell you what I recommend on your book title and your book cover. Wonderful, wonderful information, Michael. You know, one of the greatest things about you and your leadership and just what you continue to do is just keep pouring in to those who are totally clueless in this space. I know for sure that was like one moment that the mic just went Ding! because what? Hold on. Yeah, exactly. Wait, I'm in two places, but I'm going to go ahead and mute one of them right now. There's three um, Renees. There's there's five Renees and that's great. <laughs> I know. I have six Renees now, Michael. Six Renees. But they're awesome. not spelled the same. They're not spelled oh, the same. Oh. There is so you know what? I cannot wait. So we have 100 Renees. That's exactly. what I'm looking for. I'm striving for 100 Renees. Well, Renee writing a book does that, when, duplication. That, the, no, that's 100 birth. 100 Renee means 100 birth. Yes, 100 <laughs> birth. But one of the things I was going to say to you, Michael, you know, I know you're in your conference. We want to thank you so much for just taking the time and being here with us. And I'm grateful that we're going to spend some time, hopefully before you leave, to go back yes. home. Um, but I want to also, you know, because we always like to pour into our audience. Did you mention where you're from by chance? Dallas, Texas. Dallas, Texas. Woo! Well, I'm looking forward to meeting, not meeting, but I'm looking forward to us getting together again. Your again. energy, guys. Let me just tell you about Michael, okay? It was New York City. We were on the 75 hard, right there with the Breakfast with Champions. We pulled out one of the most spectacular fashion shows. And oh my goodness, did we not party? Did we not celebrate? Michael's like, we need champagne. I'm like, not champagne. I'm on the 75 heart. We had champagne, guys. I broke my 75 heart on my six. I was like 67 days into it. I'm like, oh, forget about it. Let's just go all the way. Well, you th you throw great events on that rooftop with the fashion people, everybody that you know. Your events are just epic. And, you know, the event at Porsche that you threw last summer was just oh. amazing and epic and it's really, really what we're talking about creating a hundred Renee's. That's what a book does for you. That's what a brand does. You've really built this global brand where you're always traveling. We can see your videos highlighting what you've done, how you're inspiring people to find their voice. I mean, that's to me the highest calling in the world right there. I appreciate that. Well, you know what, Michael, for this August event, 
the book from not only Renee Nor, but we're going to work on getting some of these other global women wealth warriors and the men warriors authors by August. Okay, that's our goal. Let's do it. That Let's sounds good. Go. Jump, jump on. Hey, jump, I, jump have on the I have the champagne in Paris waiting for the rest. Uh, yes. <laughs> Michael, I don't, I don't think there's too many Lolitas out there. It's one more other Lolita. Yeah. So I think, Michael, I'm, I'm so glad I have a picture with you. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, Lolita. Say what you're going to say. Oh, no. I said, I'm so glad, Michael, uh, to have a photo with you. You were phenomenal. I loved your outfit that you had on. I met you at Porsche. So it's so good to hear your story. You are an incredibly brave man to help other people just become unsnapped. And that's what you do. And I appreciate it hearing your story for real. That's awesome. Well, I'm following all of you on Twitter and tweeted all of you out and the clubhouse out. And that's really what it's about. I am so glad we got a great picture because you want to, as you're building your brand, not only have the book, but come to Renee's event in August. I know she'll tell you more about it. She throws a great epic party, but it's so important for your brand to get on more red carpets, to get on more stages, to show up and get those photographs. And wow, you know, all through the pandemic, I was able to go back and pull out some of those photos and repurpose those. And yeah, it, it's very important to have that. I love it. I love it. Well, I know you're out there having a wonderful time and I cannot wait to learn more about your experience. But we're looking forward to seeing you before you leave to go back to Dallas, Texas. Everyone, please, let's make some noise for the man himself, Mr. Michael D. Butler. Woo! Yes, everybody. Have a good one, Renee. Clubhouse. Thank you so much, Renee. Thank yeah. you bravo, so much. Bravo, bravo, and merci. Merci. Meet, meet Michael D. Com. Merci. Thank you. Thank you. you Have know. a great one. See you in Atlanta soon. Absolutely. I appreciate that. Guys, we'll be right back after this moment. We're going to play one more video, and oh my goodness, we're going to do a deeper dive about Michael D. Absolutely wonderful. What an amazing opportunity for us to hear a little bit more about Mr. Michael D. Butler himself, guys. And that's just as one of we talked about. That's just one of the ways that we talk about great streams of income. Mm -hmm. And my goodness, he gave us some amazing tools, not only tools, he gave us some amazing advice in regard to all of our authors, because that's one of our goals for the GW3 Club, for everyone to become an author before the end of 2022. I truly love that. So if you are a part of the GW3 Club and you're going to be becoming an author for 2022, I need you to put some 999s in the chat. Come on, put 999 in the chat because we're going to make sure we hold not only you responsible and accountable for what you say you're going to do, we're going to come back and make sure Mike will get the opportunity to help you so therefore we can make this into a reality. So please put some 999s on the chat in the clubhouse as well as put some 999 on the chat on YouTube, as well as our Facebook, guys. Absolutely. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Carleen Thompson's like, yes, I'm in. Who else is going to become? Come on. I need some more nines. 
Let me see if we have some in the clubhouse. Let's see. Any nines in the clubhouse? We have Fifi says yes. Linnell Burns, yes. All right, let's see. Do we have any other? My goodness, I would have blown. Okay. <laughs> I love it, Linnell. I mean, I love it, Lolita. I'll take a nine. Yes, absolutely. Well, I already know. Go ahead. Well, I already know for sure. Oh, no, I, I just listen. This is awesome. Yeah, that's one of the things. Okay, can it, <laughs> can it be a six? Can it be a six? No, got to be a nine. Have to be a nine. One of the great things also, guys, your eBooks. You know, that's another thing that we have to focus on. And, you know, not only do we have Michael from, you know, our global team from the men, but we also have Malika Starr, who's also our in-house publisher. Guys, we are very intentional in this space, and we want to make sure you're winning. Let's talk about a couple of more streams of income, ladies. Let's do that. You know, that's what this season is about. That's what this session is about. I know for sure we had a beautiful queen in the room that said she had 10 streams of income and I was trying to see if I could find her. But for those who are contemplating on what should they do or how should they go about reaching more streams of income, let's talk about at least two streams of income. We know for sure real estate, real estate, real estate, Lolita, real estate. We talk about Airbnb. We talk about yes. what, give me some other options of real estate. Oh, we have, I, I'm, I'm not sure if I'm unmuted. Um, we have Airbnbs. It's such a, a, a multifaceted area for real estate right now. And that's what's made me what uh, uh, you had said in reference to being a niche in the community. So important because you reach so many people diversifying. You really do. When you, again, when you know how to do one thing, that's one income. When you know how to do multiple things because you're niche, they call me a plug out here. It is amazing how it comes together, right? It, it, it is. Um, just today I was saying with with our relationships, was able to help someone in a housing crisis. And that's where, you, I know, again, I appreciate you being able to talk about this later on tonight. But with that, you have Airbnbs, you have corporate housing, you have short-term, long-term, and you have a whole management team that pushes that kind of vehicle along. So when you get in there and you know how to do a bunch of things in that playground, you make a whole lot of friends out here and you'll be able to make impact. So absolutely. And I'm so glad to be part of this team with uh, GW3. Absolutely. You know, one of the great things, Airbnbs, renting out a room. If you have a home right now. In your now, house. <laughs> yeah, in your own home. And is you is unoccupied. Mm -hmm. Guys, think about another way that, hey, somebody may need it. I know in mm -hmm. one of my transitional stages, I had to rent out somebody's room. Trust and believe it is one of those mm -hmm. things that is not unusual. So if you need to rent out a room to someone, guys, that's another stream of income. Go ahead, Samir. Uh, who, who uh, no, you be it, Renee? I'm sorry. Who, who wouldn't want you as a guest in their home? <laughs> <laughs> who, who wouldn't want you as a guest in their home? Oh, you're you're talking, uh, Samira. And it's no, but... <laughs> It is true that, you know, for me, can you imagine, I had my hotel, so I've been in hotel, all the time, my own, not a, but for me, the Airbnb, because I love people, it's a way of being with them. And I travel a lot more than you can ever think. And for me, that's my way of, I, I remember in Portugal, I went in a long time ago in Airbnb, and this lady, the grandma of the lady, was taking care of me like you would never imagine and i love stories so she was telling me and that's how i got to know the culture and to know how people are living so it is really important because if you know the culture of a country you get everything because that's how you know actually we're talking about business business starts by the culture because when you know what these people are needing or what is the need in this place or the other then you can hook and put the chain together. So it is really important, the Airbnb. And then the online. Today, the self-education. Sorry? The, the no, self-education. So yeah. Okay, yeah. And, and self-education revolution. If you have an expertise in anything, even in cooking uh, an apple pie, I'm just, you know, apple pie mm -hmm. done by you is different than an apple pie done by someone else. So you can do now online, do your own uh, channel and bring the vibes to people that follow you. You know, the social media, the more people like you, the more, of course, Internet loves you. And if Internet loves you, 
then also Instagram will pay you, then YouTube and so on. And online business. Can you imagine for myself, as I said, I had my own businesses from day one. 19 years old was my first company. And like today, I have this income from different countries because of health and oneness and because of online an online business where you can do anywhere, the mentorship and so on. So if today you don't have your incomes coming from the things you love, I think you need to think about it twice. So it is really important to bring the joy to anything you never thought of. It's gonna be your possibility. So self-education, online, learning about you know, Renee can teach you things. I can teach you things. Lolita, oh my God, she can do a lot of things. So the more you have, even I'm sure I would like all of you to put in the chat, what do you think people know you best of? What is it like, even if it is an apple pie, if it is uh, chocolate chip cookies, whatever, what are you known for? And if you get that, you can, turn that into an income online and you can do a lot of things. So honestly speaking, there is no excuse to not have money, not have joy in anything you do today. So that is why it is really important. You brought up Renee and honestly, I love you for, and she's like me, you know, kind of, and this year she's in a three year, so she's making the connection. So please, be around her because <laughs> that is you know how things uh, go so it, it is really important yes so it was like today as i said from one thing and then now because i have an expertise in fashion and in uh, uh expanding the brand this incredible brand she said oh my god you're here in paris we want you so that is why i'm just saying if you are wondering what can i do just say to yourself what do i love to do and you will have an answer. And as we said, the, yes, it is really important because generally speaking, that's what speaks to us. So if we have something we know so much, we'll just go a coach for maybe mentorship, maybe for social community. I mean, even in Clubhouse, I learned so much about social media. I mean, it's for free. Let, Come let's on. talk about that. Let's talk about that right now. So mm -hmm. right now we're gonna talk mm -hmm. about specific ways that you could be earning income right now, mm -hmm. okay? As mm -hmm. she indicated, there's no excuses anymore, guys, because you can Google everything. And right where we are within not only the clubhouse with the Breakfast with Champions, John Lee, I mean, there's so many relationships that's giving you information at no cost. How many of you guys are right now earning income just because of your reels you put out on Instagram? If you are earning income because of the reels that you're putting out on social media from your Facebook, as well as your um, your Instagram, I need you to put a 777 in the chat. I wanna see who I'm talking to. If you are earning income because of the reels that you're posting up every day, guys, that is something that you can earn income from. And the greatest part about it is about content. It's about being a content creator. When Instagram recognizes you as a content creator, they're willing to pay you monthly. And one of the greatest things you guys can do is start putting up nice pictures, clean pictures. Not a lot of, you know, I'll say this, pictures are great, but reels are greater, okay? Pictures are great, reels are greater. And that's what they're gonna be looking for, reels. The more reels you post up, currently right now, it's not even about how many people like the reel it's just the fact that your reels got watched and so far i don't see anybody on this on this particular app here that has said that they've done it and i hope we have people in the clubhouse and if so that's wonderful let's see we have so far no one have earned income from instagram that's one way you guys can earn income from instagram as with instagram alongside with facebook affiliate marketing affiliate marketing from Amazon, even for the GW3, we have an affiliate program as well. You want to make sure you are plugged into an affiliate marketing program. Yes. Guys, you can refer somebody's business. Think about this. If you hold your cell phone up right now, you can refer your business, whether it's Cash App, whether it's Lyft, 
Uber. I mean, those are part of affiliate programs. And yeah. Amazon, Amazon. If you don't have an e-commerce website, guys, I know we're going to have a deeper dive tomorrow at 3 p.m. We're going to be doing our YouTube course. Not only are we going to be doing our YouTube course about the e-commerce website, how many of you guys currently right now do not have or own any cryptocurrency? How many of you all do not own or have cryptocurrency? That's another way that you can earn income. And we'll show you on tomorrow, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, how you can also compound it and multiply it. I have two of our multimillionaire coaches that's going to provide you with hands-on instructions of how to do that. Now, if you're interested in being plugged into that call, please go ahead on and DM me. I want in. That's right. I want in because today is not only about winning Wednesday, but we want to make sure you're in it. In order for you to win this game, you got to be in it. You got to even first play it. And that's what this space is about, right? So again, I talked to you about cryptocurrency. We are now multiplying and compounding our cryptocurrency. That's the way of not the future. That's the way of the now, guys. That's the way of the now. Cryptocurrency, you can utilize your cryptocurrency today. Ethereum, you can have Cardona alongside with Bitcoin. I can go down the list because it's like over 10,000 different um, DeFi coins that's available that you can utilize. But what is the greatest part about it is currency. It is currency. And when you think about the short word of currency, it's current. That's right, it's current. So you have to be a part of what's happening in the current, in the now. So in order for you to grow your wealth, you want to make sure you're part of that frequency that's happening every day. I did a deeper dive in 2016, 2017, where I sacrificed. I literally invested in myself as well as in my daughter. And we learned about the foreign exchange market as well as we learned about the cryptocurrency market. Guys, that was 2016, 2017, 2018. Here we are, 2022. Oh my goodness, guys. So I'll share this with you. It's not so much about what you can get instantly. You want to understand sometimes it's about 18 months. Put some time into it. You gotta be willing to invest in yourself. How many of you guys are investing in yourself and then you give up on yourself? If you invest in yourself, you better not give up on yourself. Come on now. That's like, that doesn't even make any sense. You have to put the work in it. Don't look for instant gratifications, guys. Do not look for the wins instantly. Sometimes you have to do the work. You gotta trust the process and stay focused, stay yes. focused, stay focused. The consistency is where you'll find the sweet sauce, all right, yeah. in the consistency, because that's where it pays off. Yeah, Another and the way, inner work, and the inner work, oh, because you sometimes you're work. not ready, because, you know, they normally they tell you, shut up your mouth, don't talk to a stranger, and now they tell you, talk to people, connect. So there are a lot of things inside of you, because, you know, I have this affiliate marketing, and people say, well, how do you, I love people, so it was not a problem, but some, oh, should I talk to people? Why not? Today, like, you need to learn some skills, some new skills that will bring you, because the skills that you have already, are not serving you. So you need to get new skills in order to get where you want to be. So that's Absolutely. also part of the, the journey. Yes, Absolutely. and the process. You know, guys, we want to make sure we provide you with those 12 streams of income. That's why we do this every week, Wednesday, winning Wednesday. How many of you guys are right now earning income while you're sleeping? If you're not earning income while you're sleeping, guess what, guys? You're going to work until you're dead. You Absolutely. want to make sure you're earning income while you're sleeping and you want to wake up. It's like, whoa, OK, let's go again. Whatever you do to earn that income, you got to do it 20, 40, 50, 100 times. That's where the consistency comes into place, guys. It comes into place. Consistency. Another great thing, we talked about the ebooks, we talked about becoming an author, we have the Airbnbs, we spoke about having those um, affiliate marketing programs, investing, investing, investing. If you are still in your savings accounts, guys, those savings accounts are not doing anything for you. You need to really focus on speaking to your advisor and regarding to some options of what you need to do to diversify your portfolio, to diversify your funds, because one of the greatest things I learned, 
When you just have things standing still, guess what? It's just that, still. Yep. And still is not about frequency. Still is not about progress. Still is not about movement. It's standing still. And if you have a savings account, chances are your money is just what? Still there. And it's not moving. It's not growing. It's not diversifying. So one of the greatest things we show you how to do is not only have your money moving every week. That's right. Every week. Multiplying and compounding it. And the greatest part about it, guys, oh, it's just sometimes we just didn't know all of this information was available. But now that we know more, we doggone are gonna we're gonna make sure we do better in our mm -hmm. season and in our tribe because we're gonna make sure everyone winning at the same frequency. It doesn't look cute when one person is up at the top and yeah. everybody else is still trying to get a dollar. No. We no. want everyone to rise up to the top. That's why it's all about the community. When the community wins, we all win. We can all eat. And that's something that's really important. How many of you guys right now have your own clothing line? Have you thought about having your own clothing line? How many of you guys have a 10K card? 10K card. Yeah. Come on now. Oh my yeah. God, I love it. That 10K. First it's 10, and then it's like Woo. that 10K card every yep. day, guys. Every, every day. day. I love yes. <laughs> you see? I know. Yes. No, Lolita, I'll tell you what, you don't even have to show it. You just say meetsamira.com, meetlolita.com. Yes. I want to see all my 10K card holders. What are the 10K card exactly. holders? Put they your like link the in the chat. If you a 10K card and you got a customized link, I want you to put your links in the chat. That's another way that people get in contact yep. with you. That piece right there, guys, do not sleep on those opportunities. 10K card. It has helped us to brand ourselves because no one's really printing business cards anymore. So now you can send your card everywhere. We have our own QR code and oh my goodness, doesn't it 10K cards look great? If you guys want to look at all of our 10K cards, go to GW3Live.com. GW3Live.com. That's our metaverse for the GW3 Global Club, baby. And what an amazing way for all of us to show up together in unison. And that's one of the greatest things that you guys could do. Make sure you send out your 10K card 10 times a day. I said it, 10 times a day. Show your card to 10 customers a day. I promise you, you're gonna start seeing results because they're gonna be like, oh, I need one of those. Where did you get that from? I know, I know. Oh, that's about card. duplication, duplication. We are talking about income and you duplicate because you, can you imagine the power of duplication means you're not alone doing something right. so when you send your card to other people they send it to others that's where the magic happened and that's also the importance of duplicating your time the time he is here to leverage that your time because a business where it only stands on you is not a business that's so right. this is very important to get that in uh, mind and to put it, but the, that 10k card. Oh my god, I always be blessed to yes, really I have see Malika it. Star. Malika Star said, Meet Malika Star. I see one of our 10k cards. I want to see names in the chat. I want to see what is your link. Everyone should put their link in the chat and say you, that's how people connect with you guys. That's the sweetest way that anybody can connect with you. If you do not have a 10k card, please DM me today so we can change that it's going to impact your life in addition to that it's a card that keeps paying forward many people may have a linkedin card but you know what it's not a 10k card baby that's a seven star luxury brand right there and we're so grateful to be a part of the 10k family another great way that you can have um you know from a, a stream of income because we're talking about 12 multiple streams of income passive income passive income is definitely a way if you do not have passive income you're constantly exchanging your time for service time for service and you know what's going to happen eventually something's going to give in if you don't have passive income it's important for you to do it most and i'll say this right across the board i'll probably could say this also samir every multi-millionaire have passive 
income. Yes. Every multimillionaire has Absolutely. passive income. Mm-hmm. If mm-hmm. you own, if you do not, if you're still waiting for that check for somebody to pay you guys, we got to get you leveled up. It's time for you to do things on the big level. And in order for you to do that, you're going to have to divorce yourself from some of the ways that you know in order yes. for you to attract new Absolutely. habits. Okay. Reprogramming that brain, retraining the brain to do things totally different so you can attract. A, a better lifestyle. It's all about the lifestyle. Because what mm-hmm. we do here, even though we focus on our 90 day challenge, right? right? We're on this 90 day challenge. Samira, my clothes are getting so baggy right now. Oh my God. I have to put a doubt on. <laughs> I Look at this. And my, my, some, uh, over here, Lolita, then lost 40 pounds on us. Okay. Woo-hoo. Woo. Let's give it up for Lolita, everybody. 40 yeah, pounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Woo, woo, woo. woo, woo, woo. Yeah. Yeah. And and Lolita, here we go. I've got something else for you. Oh, I will send here. it to you so that you can get even much better because today it comes from inside out. It is true. The genetic, have you heard about genetic? Means Epigenetic means going beyond your genes. You can be at your best at any time. You just need different things, different habits, as Renee said, in anything so that you can be. I'm, an, oh, I, I'm 60, the, the six decades, and look at 30 Size 34, which is size six. I mean, in US, I go to the children. <laughs> so that is why it is. <laughs> it's like he said, you need to go to the children. Right? <laughs> but so, Lolita, you're going to be, I'll send you something incredible that woo, next time in 90 days, I'm, I'm going to tell the, the whole tribe. You will not even recognize yourself. In 90 more days, oh, I cannot wait, girl. I'm ready. No, no, I'm and I'm serious because this is a complete different story, and that is why. I love that. I love it. So, guys, one of the things we do every 90 days, we shock the system. We shock our system so we can get recharged. We don't crack the code. Oh no, we know we got to get moving. And sometimes we are so fall, what we fall back on what our habits were. So that's why we got to keep shocking that system, baby. That's what we do over here. We crack the code, crack the code, crack the code, crack the code. Ooh, I love it. Cracking the code, guys. Yes, we have to do intentionally. If you need assistance with getting your credit, if you need assistance with getting your credit right, guys, that's another way that we can help you too, because as you're building and growing your empire, you want to make sure right across the board, you have that taken care of as well. And don't, I always say no reason to be embarrassed, no reason to fall back. One of the things that we do here in this club, we don't judge. We do not judge. We don't talk about each other. We're here to uplift you. We're here to complete you, to help get you whole. So we don't have time to, to judge because we've all have skeletons in the closet. That part. Some of us have meat on those skeleton bones in the closet. So just keep it real. All right. We all have a story, but we're not going to be a victim to that story. But what we will do, we're going to create our new narrative. Yeah. 2022, we're not only going to help you win, we're going to show you how to win so we can all come together and yeah. eat at the largest table absolutely dinner table that is because yeah and the dinner the table, table. <laughs> you know what uh, renee not only that the dinner table but that you know remember the story the story is the one you are telling yourself right now yes. and i would like people in the chat to put what is the story you're telling yourself right now am i powerful willing to make it to the top Oh, oh, poor me. I've done it before and it did not work. Which one would you like to tell to yourself? Because your brain is there only to protect you. And you have right. five seconds to really break those rules. That's what Mel Robbins said. Five, four, three, two, one, go. And go. then you put yourself into action instead of just putting in a pilot mode. Because unfortunately, whatever the mind is there, remember, you're all reading uh the rich dad the poor dad and you and also think grow, and grow rich, rich and so right yes think and grow rich. yes think, yeah think and grow rich and poor dad and rich dad all of them they makes you different 
and whatever the mind could believe and can and could uh, be, uh, conceive, believe, the, the mind could achieve. Yeah. This is billions of years before. So today, what is the story you're telling yourself? That's the only question you need to ask. That's Am it. I poor me or super me? Which one I'm you extra like? Ordinary me. In the yes. Yes. Been in our you know, me. my on. dear friend I'm and extraordinary me. Me, That's yes. Right. Yes, yeah. my dear friend and mentor, Lisa Nichols. Excuse me, this is the best version of me. I am extraordinary. Here extra we go. Me. Yes. Everyone, I want you to know that's what we want to see in August. Your extraordinary you. You. Not yes. coming here being average. No, no, no. Your extraordinary you. I know it's about four more minutes before we close out this week's episode. And I don't want you guys to just leave. I want you to drop some nuggets in regard to what are ways that they too, that they can also be inspired with words of wisdom. We'll start with you, um, Lolita, and then we'll go to you, Miss Samira, and then I'll have the closing words and then we'll close out this segment. Take it away, Lolita. Thank you so much, Renee. This is awesome. And you, know, you always know my mantra, I mean it. I believe with people, like you said, when you deal with renewing of your mind, how your mind thinks, everything else follows. It really does. And when you're around a, a bunch of champions and sometimes you don't feel like you can do it, you get around those lions. So you know I'm saying that lions don't fight each other to kill. We fight each other to make each other strong for the kill. And I always appreciate that. I always want everybody to remember you are a champion because champions win on purpose. And I want everybody to continue giving it all you got. I appreciate you all so much. Thank you, Samara. I appreciate everything you want to do for me and making me fabulous. So, and Renee, you certainly jump-started me. I'm excited. And I and I know you, people say it all the time. There are people on here. By now, I just want to say hi to your beautiful self because I saw you out here, that you help people come out of themselves that they didn't even realize that that person was in there. It's always been in there. Like Michael said, that writer and world traveler was there. And it took one person to change the whole trajectory of somebody's life. It just took one person. And that's what I feel, that we've been charged with this. This is not even a burden, it's a blessing to be able to be a doorkeeper for someone else. So that's all I wanna say, God bless you. Oh my God, I love Lolita, she's so colloquial. <laughs> oh, oh. c'est très beau, c'est très beau quand elle parle. So, <laughs> this, it is true, like, I'm, oh my God, why should I go after her? So I was like, ah. <laughs> but it is so, mm -hmm. such a great honor for me because I am telling the world today, I am making my tribe of the success. Success is, comes from six and S from S, Samira, sexy, smart, getting, that's the vibration. So not only I'm going to write my book about my story, that's six decades, that's a lot, to bring the better, best of you. And you know what? Because you, who are the one who are here, you matter. And your story of today is not the story of yesterday. It's your present and your current present that counts. So let's do it all together. I am your sister. I am your coach. And I'm going to make you the sexiest, best version of you. Thank you. And hug from Paris to, from me to you all over the world. Oh my God. That was so beautiful, ladies. So beautiful. I just want everyone to know that they are truly enough. If you are afraid of change, if you are afraid to do something different, if you are just afraid to be afraid, still do it anyway. Because of where we are in this space, we want you to not only release all of your fears, but fill it and fuel it with faith. Have faith, have faith to trust some of the things that you have not even had any idea that you could do. The universe, everyone knows the universe is your playground. And where we are today, it's important not only for you to live from your within and out, but it's very important for you to always understand your value and know your worth. This is your season. And not only is your season, 
It's time for you to stay unforgettable. And I want you to be that extraordinary that no one, I said that no one have ever seen before. I want you to take off those clothes that you've been covering up that beautiful body. I want you to release all of those negative thoughts that you've heard somebody say about you. They don't make you who you are. You are enough. You are extraordinary. And this is your season. Everyone in the clubhouse said, this is my season. I want you to say it. This is my season. Yes. This is my season. This is my season. <laughs> Scream it out loud. Let your neighbors know this is my season. This is my season. Yes. Woo. Release all that <laughs> negative energy. I want you to go after it. And I want you to be bold, bodacious. I want you to be the lion or the lioness that you have been inside, I needed to come on the outside because it's time for us to play and we're gonna do it bigly, all right? Bigger than what we did before. This is our season. I wanna thank you guys. I wanna thank you, Samir, for joining us all the way from Paris. Oui, oui, bonjour, mademoiselle. I wanna thank you, the amazing, our mayor for the GW3 Warriors, that Lolita Anderson, I want to thank Michael D. Butler for being our guest speaker. But guys, you already know how we close it out. Every season, every time, we got to wrap it up with a prayer. And our prayer warrior today is Ms. Davina Reynolds. And now is Ms. Davina Reynolds going to pray over us. Guys, this is all about the spirit because it's not about me. It's not about Lolita. It's not about Samira. But this is how God is using us to continue on building this solid family. So without further ado, Ms. Davina Reynolds, are you ready? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, I'm here. Take it away, beautiful. Okay. Well, Father, we do bless you and we do thank you uh, for this great day, for this is the day that you have made and we are glad and yet rejoice in it. And we thank you for uh, bringing us out of our subconsciousness uh, into our consciousness and not elevating us into our super. Lord, we do uh, just reverence you. We glorify you uh, that, Lord, you have given us the motivation. You have given us the inspiration and encouragement um, through GW3. And also, God, that we are covering one another um, by looking to see each other thrive. We thank you for the spirit, Lord, uh, today uh, that we have uh, the spirit of love and we have the spirit of peace. Oh, wow, how we, God, you've given us the spirit of joy, laughter. Lord, I love to hear the young ladies uh, just laugh out with with joy and happiness in their hearts because it's not about where we are. Oh, it's because but it's about where we're going. We thank you for each and every um, member of the GW3 and especially the visionary. Uh, God, the, the one that you've given the vision and those of us that have caught the vision and you said to write the vision down, make it plain. Uh, though it may tarry, but we will run with it and it shall surely come to pass. God, we thank you for every affirmation that we make every day. We already declared and decreed that May is the month of manifestation. And we're seeing it even though today is just May the 4th. We thank you now for what you have already done. Mm. Mm. Lord, we surely thank you for what you're about to do. Keep us, keep our minds, stay on positive things, positive energy, positive vibrations. Let us recognize quickly distractions. Let us be focused and always complete the task. Even now we bind, we rebuke and pull down every stronghold that will cause us to shrink back. That our feet, our minds are planted on a solid foundation. Though the wind may blow, the rain may come, the thunder may roar, 
the lightning may strike. We won't break. We won't break because our minds are made up and we have a fabulous, empowering, encouraging, motivating, supporting group, family, unit that you have connected us to. And I thank you. We thank you that you will continuously to bless us, our coming and our going. We are the head and never the tail. <laughs> we always above and we are never beneath. Father, we thank you for increase financially. We thank you for the resources, God, by divine design that they are locating us now. That everything that we In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. We have made it through another incredible segment today. So grateful for everyone. And let's please put some amazing hearts in that chat for our producer, Mr. Rel Thompson. Oh my God, Mr. Rel Thomas. Sorry about that, Mr. Rel Thomas. Thank you guys so very much. Love you all. And we're going to be closing out this segment. This is our Winning Wednesday. See you guys on tomorrow. And later on this evening, we're going to be surprising you all with our after dark business. From real estate, relationships, and real life occurrences. See you guys at 6 p.m. this evening. Thank you all.